Uh, well, today we are going to talk about the super lattice. I mean, if you have several layers which have different path cap, eventually, if you just rotate this picture and you will see in the z-axis being plotted horizontally, you will see that you have the just different potentials in, in each side. And how to model it, how to simulate this, what we need to do it just assumes something about the wave function. And question is whether this function has the same periodicity as our lattice. And the answer is no. According to Bleh, Bloch idea is a Bloch wave, which means uh, when we are moving as for NL, we need to also add this additional phase. So basically we end up with this formula. And here what I'm doing, I'm just proving you that whatever k vector, so k vector is just the wave vector was this plane wave, whatever k vector you will use, you can always limit yourself to a k from the first Brillouin zone, so from minus pi over l, l and to the pi over l. And how it's proven there, since even if you take a k prime being n divided by 2 plus 1, so we are slightly, just slightly out of this Brillouin zone, we end up with a vector with a Brillouin zone times 1. So uh, basically, you can limit yourself to the Brillouin zone and you will see that basically it will work in this example. So what I have done here, it's nothing fancy, it's rather simply manipulation. I have a Schrodinger equation, first I discretize it, so mainly I'm just using well-known the formulas from the first and the second derivative. Later what I'm doing, I'm just organizing terms in the, in, in the just order, I mean the psi i minus 1, so the previous uh, node the current node and the node plus one. And what I have done later, uh, so here we got just this improvement that your k, k prime lies in the Brillouin zone because we can always move by something called the inverse zone vector. Okay, so let's continue about this numerical stuff. I just order, ordered um, each term, I have a, M, it means minus h squared divided by 2m. In my simulation, I used just the normal unit, just the use easy units once everywhere. So m is 1, h is 1, of course. Feel free to modify it as you want. And how have I done it? I just produce a Hamiltonian, Hamiltonian which is made of this term and is repeated each row. However, it's moved to the right, that if we are moving from one row to another, just as this. And of course, we need to connect the first and the last node. This is why, uh, for example, if we are in the zeroth node, we will encounter psi minus one. But psi minus one, I just, I just think as psi minus one being as psi n. This is why this part of Hamiltonian is being on the right hand side. So finally, what I am expecting to find, I'm expecting to find the following bent graph with the energy being plotted on the vertical axis and k on the horizontal axis. And what I plotted there is just the two, just the two first bands. So the band equal one, we have this band, and of course it would continue to grow just like a parabola. But since we have the Brillouin zone, we can move, for example, this guy, uh, this guy we can move there, and the guy from the other side there. This is why we will end up with the band gap, which are going to just growth in the first Brillouin zone. And what I'm trying to, to find, and I hope I will find it, is this EG, so this energy gap between the first and the second band, which comes from this additional potential. Because without potential, we would have the normal thing without, with the degeneration, I mean, for one K, we would have the several energies. And since we have the potential, there is no, there's no need there's no reason for degeneracy. So just please look at, at the results and thank you very much for attention.